Hello everybody, Joel here. So today my wife has taken some time out of her busy schedule to work in the pantry. And we have a KitchenAid mixer, which we got when we were first married back in 1992. She brought it out to the counter here and had asked me if there's any way that I could clean up around the edges here. We've got some grease, I think, and baked, baked on grime and grit. So I think I'll go ahead and try to take that off. I've never had that apart. We did have an oil leak on this machine at one point, and we got that figured out. That was a pretty easy fix, but let's see if we can go ahead and take this base off. Screws are in there pretty good. This mixer has seen a lot of a lot of use over the years, 28 years. My daughter is 14 and she's learning how to bake and cook now, so she's been getting a chance to use it also. But you can't go wrong with this KitchenAid, it's ultra power. KitchenAid brand. Let's see what we've got under here. Oh yeah. Okay, so just a lot of oh this must have been from when the oil was leaking. You can see there's some oil residue down under there. Like I said, we got that problem solved a few years back. I took it apart and fixed that, but obviously now we've got some work to do on the bottom. So I'll just get a, get a cleaning rag and we'll, we'll wipe that up. Okay, I've got some disinfecting wipes here to go ahead and get around and get this cleaned up. We've got plenty of these disinfecting wipes. We're just going through the pandemic of 2020 so there's a lot of this in our household right now go get some paper towel might have some better absorbency now that it's wet A little bit more absorbent with the paper towel. Just hoping this outer stuff will come off as well. It might take a little bit of a little bit of work out there. As you can see on the plate underneath, it's a bit of oil on there too. Get that wiped off. A little bit of a stain on there. That oil came right off. Well, okay. I need some degreaser for this outside stuff. Let me get that out and we'll work on that a little bit. So here we've got some jungle jake. Found that under the kitchen sink. Cleaner and degreaser. So I'll go ahead and give a couple of squirts. It's almost empty, but hopefully we've got enough to take care of this. We'll see how the Jungle Jake does here. I think we'll let that set on there for a few minutes. I think it'll come right off after a little bit of working that in. So I'll let that rest a little bit and then we'll come back and wipe that off. 
Okay, so I've let this sit for several minutes and I took the uh, brush that we have back by the laundry tub. Just a, it's not really soft, but it's, it's fairly soft bristle. You wouldn't want to use too much to, to be taking the paint right off of this thing. That's getting into the grime. Pretty nice that Jungle Jake has had time to set up. I know I'm more familiar with the Simple Green. That's a product we usually have around the house. Not sure where this Jungle Jake came from. Oh yeah, that's breaking it up. I may have to have one more application. I'll wipe this down and get the debris that I've gotten off so far out of here. And then uh, I think I'll hit it again. That's doing good. Okay, so I gave another shot to the Jungle Jake degreaser. Continue brushing around here. Oh yeah, that really loosened it up now. It's a little bit of elbow grease. Usually isn't that the case with most things that need some TLC, just a little bit of elbow grease. Get it back into shape. Inside, just make sure that's tidied up a bit. Well, let's wipe that up and see how, how it looks. Much much, much, much better. One little stubborn spot right here. I think that was a combination of the baking, the oil, time. I think we have it. All right here. Fantastic. Okay. The KitchenAid mixer ready to go back into the reorganized pantry. Thank you all for watching.